What's up guys? Welcome back to another live stream here at Disneyland. Thank you guys for joining. Alright, first thing we're gonna do here on this stream this evening, we're gonna get on the train. We're gonna do a full lap here on this one, get dropped off in Tomorrowland. So I'm here at uh, Main Street Station. And as you can see, perfect timing, the train just arrived. So we're gonna grab a seat right now. And then, uh, yeah, we're pretty much gonna go all the way through. So uh, yeah, let's grab a seat here real quick. We're done. We're gone. We're going to go home. Time 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 to go home. Just a reminder that New Orleans Fire Station is currently closed. Alright, okay. right, guys, enjoy this trip here all the way through. Thank you. 
All right, guys. Big, big hello to everybody in here that's joining in on the live stream. We're starting off this stream today here with the train. We're gonna go all the way into Tomorrowland. So welcome in if you guys are joining in. Make sure to hit the like button on this stream. Also, if it's your first time here, make sure to switch your resolution to 1080p. And uh, yeah, enjoy. Hope you guys are having a good day. Do you want something different? What would you like? Alright, friends, well, fun fact, this is a real steam engine. So while we're here at New Orleans Square, we're able to top off our water. And some of you actually need some H2O to H2Go. Thank you for your patience, and we'll be on our way shortly. Thank you, Miss Laura. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank so apparently that was happening here too. I want the, so the, the doggy snack. My brother and the staff was here every day. You can just hear every like. In the stream, guys, we'll be watching uh, Road of Color. We'll also be watching fireworks, getting on rides, checking out some merch, skipper buys, and uh, yeah. All the usual stuff that we normally do, so. Wednesday night, Wednesday night. It's about, um... Sure 6.30 p.m. here in Anaheim right now. Sun's starting to go down. I really wanted to get on the train before the sun went down, so. That's why we're starting up with this here. Sorry about being late, guys. It's just the traffic's a little crazy right now. I'm supposed to start like around 5.30 with a parade, but couldn't quite get here on time. Sorry about that. Here we go. Next stop is the Toontown station. They were filling it up. They were filling up the train with water. You know, for the steam and stuff. To those just joining us, welcome aboard the Disneyland Railroad. To ensure a safe ride, stay seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the train. And please watch your kids.
me out of the train, guys. We're now joining up with the rivers of America and entering the frontiers of look more than a century and a half ago. This is my favorite part of the journey. Around every bend, natural beauty as far as the eye can see. to the Toontown station. They're gonna pick a couple people up here and then uh, we'll eventually get dropped off in Tomorrowland station, so just one more station to go. Ah, dang, you know what? I just remember we won't see the dinosaurs though. Thank you. Sorry, Welcome in, guys. Hit that like button here on the stream. It's good to see everybody again. I hope you guys are having a good Wednesday. And uh, yeah, we're just getting started here on the stream with the train. So if you're just joining in, don't even worry. We're just getting started here tonight. We're going to be watching World of Color tonight, getting on rides, checking out the fireworks show. I think tonight we're going to do Main Street tonight. Yes, yes. We can try to do the castle, but I think Main Street for sure. It's a little windy. It's a little bit more windier than yesterday, I think. So a little bit of a chance of them not going through with the fireworks show, but you know, as of lately, we've been getting kind of lucky. So, uh, yeah, we should be fine. <laughs> I just ride the dinosaurs. I forget that I if we get dropped off in Tomorrowland, you know, you can't see the dinosaurs. Tinkerbell, thank you so much for joining in here on the live stream. As always, Singerville, thank you for helping me out. All of my moderators that are in here, appreciate you guys joining in. And uh, we're going to have a good stream tonight, guys. So it was good, Tinkerbell. Went to Huntington Beach today. Did a little bit of uh, relaxing over Huntington Beach. Did uh, Checked out some of the shops. Yeah, just kind of like a chill day, honestly. 
But you know what's crazy? After I, I like on the, I live close by. But on the way home, I was like, you know, like, I don't know about you guys. Like, if you go to the pool or like, you know, you start feeling tired after like, after like leaving. So like on the way home, I started to feel tired. And I was like, man, like I feel, even though I didn't do anything, I was just laying, I was just laying down there. But you know, I started to feel tired, kind of like if I would, if I like did something, <laughs> but I didn't even do anything. I just, we were just chilling on the beach, just, just laying down, enjoying the sun. And uh, yeah, on the way home, I was like starting to get tired. Like, oh, I can take a nap here, but sorry about being late, guys. I really, really am super, super sorry. That's so cool, women, women of a certain age. That's awesome. And Huntington Beach is really nice. You know, Crystal, I'm, I definitely agree with that because it's like the same thing. When I would go to the pool, or like if you go to the pool, do a little bit of swimming, definitely feel drained after. But I'm excited to be here with you guys on the live stream. So here we go, guys. Enjoy. We're going to go to tomorrow line. Now. Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado y mantenga las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del tren y con los pequeños. As we leave Toontown Depot, we get a real nice view of the happiest land of the world, Fantasyland. You can see people stepping onto it's a small world just below it. Crystal, I was super hungry after. But just as you get out of the mountain, the sun will be shining on you like a sunshine.
overall guys it's just been such a very nice day like really really nice day you know been a really nice day weather has been really nice today there was really nice sunlight a little bit of a wind like a little bit of a breeze going by but still felt kind of warm it's just been a very nice chill day here in oc you see the sun starting to go down I hope you guys have been having a great day too. Thank you for joining me here on the live, everybody. We're gonna have a great stream today. Thank you so much, Haley, for joining in here on this live. Crystal, Tinkerbell, Keto. Welcome in everybody. We got dropped off here in the station. The bunny lover, good to see you. Where I live, it's been cold and rainy. Oh man, you know. We've been having some of those weeks as of lately, or not recently, but like I kind of recently. There's been a little bit of rain and stuff like that. Very, you know, it comes and it goes. So I definitely understand. And I used to like, I used to really like the rain. Don't get me wrong, I like the rain, but for some reason I was like, oh, I kind of want, I kind of just wanted to be sunny. And, you know, the weather's been really nice as of lately. It's just kind of windy right now, but hopefully doesn't get super cold tonight it's already starting to feel kind of cold though i'm not gonna lie i am we're in tomorrowland guys it's tomorrowland right here <laughs> yeah definitely hey the weather can, has definitely been a little bit switchy as of lately and uh you know that's kind of how it's been right now let's see what's going on here with the monorail there's a little bit of sunlight still out i want to Take you guys on the monorail so let's see what we can if oh it's closed oh no let's go ask here see if maybe they're gonna open it sometime soon we'll wait around for it if not then we'll just go ahead and uh go check out something else but this is the entrance to the monorail right here give me one second guys let me see what's going on all right All right, guys, so the update here with the monorail is that it's closed right now and they don't know when they're gonna open it back up. So we're just gonna go ahead and skip on the monorail right now. We can always, you know, come back and check it out a little bit later. Wait times right now for rides are a little bit crazy. So and don't know about doing a whole lot of rides right now, right now, but we could definitely do like some shows and those kind of things. So next thing uh, here on the list is gonna be Tiki Room. We could definitely do some rides here later on at night you know when the wait times are lower we could definitely get on a lot of rides but right now the wait times are a little a little crazy right now but let's go check out the tiki room after that we'll probably go over to dca and uh over inside dca we can do some some uh, some shows and stuff over inside there and we haven't done i haven't taken you i haven't taken you guys to do that
Ailey, good to see you. Is Easter Sunday a stream day, Steve? Yeah, yeah, I'll definitely be live here with you guys. So be on the lookout for that. I'll keep you guys updated with the post notification so you guys can see what time all that will happen. Yeah. Hello, Nicole. DJ Knight. Alisa. <clears throat> Good to see you, Alisa. Scotty, that's a really cool profile picture, Scotty. I like that. Of course, thank you for being in here and watching. Rodolfo, hi there, Steve. I started watching you two years. Oh, nice. That is so cool, Laura. Thank you so much for watching my live streams, and I'm happy you're still here watching, so thank you so much. Hello, Daniela. Welcome in. How's the stream looking like guys let me know here in the chat everything looking good make sure to hit the like button on this live if you're joining in here and we're walking over to the tiki room that's going to be the next thing here up on our list the enchanted tiki room people are already here camping out for the fireworks show let me show you this So you can see right here they have the you know the blankets and the towels and everything for the camping and uh this is a really good view right here if you're kind of just in this area right here this is a really nice view now it is a big risk because you know if they get canceled then you know you waited a long time because this fireworks show isn't going to happen until 9 30. stream's looking good Awesome guys, thank you so much for letting me know here. And we're walking over to the Tiki Room. <laughs> 1080p looks awesome. I've done it before too, Disney Mom. I've done it before. For the stream. I can't remember what show it was, but definitely have done it before. Thankfully, nothing got canceled. There has been times too where I've done it before and then it got canceled and it was like, oh man, you know? I've felt the pain before. I think it's getting ready for showtime here, guys. Look at this. All right, so next show is going to be at 7. And it's 6.55 right now, so we have a little bit of time here before. Oh, no, there's already, they're already letting people inside. Never mind. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, come with us 
to a world of joyous songs and wondrous miracles. Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room. Get ready, guys. Make sure you guys are watching this in 1080p. Make sure to hit the like button on this live stream. You guys are awesome. I'm happy you guys are in here watching my live stream tonight. And we're going to have a good stream, guys. We're already starting here at the Tiki Room. We've already done the train. Let's go check out that monorail after this. And we're going to continue to do all of the cool things here. Maybe we're going to head over to DCA. I will keep you guys updated after we finish the show. Enjoy this for now. You guys are awesome. This thing is packed. Look at this. I mean, it's not super packed, but you know. For Tiki Room, this is pretty packed. And then we have a good view here of this pool with the moving faces, with the moving mouse. Enchanted Tiki Room presented by Dole. Just a few reminders before we get the show started. Eating and drinking is allowed. Just remember to take your trash with you at the end. There will be no smoking, no flash photography, and no video lighting as it does frighten our performers. And please remember to silence your cell phones.
If at any point during our performance you do need to exit, the exit doors are located at the far end of the theater opposite of where you came in. Just give them a gentle push if you need to leave at any time.
all right guys i hope you enjoyed that show that is the secret room here inside disneyland oh this looks cool right here with the fire and everything this looks this is a really nice view look at that that looks cool What do you guys think? Does it look good? The stream looks pretty good here. Thank you so much for the super chat, Jeremy. Five dollars super chat says, uh, Steve, do you happen to know if they have any new Dole Whips? Any new ones? You know what? They they might actually. Look, let me let me check for you right here, Jeremy. Let's take a look. Let's take a look here. This is where you can get. You know, Dole Whips and, and um, you know, any kind of snack like that. Let me show you some photos here of some of the things you can get here at the... Uh, this is called the Tropical Hideaway. This is a little, not a restaurant, but like an area where you can come and pick up some items that look like this right here. You can also get one that looks like this right here. looks uh, really good actually I might want to try that out And then up here, guys, let me show you a little look at the menu. That way you guys can see what's going on here. <laughs> Sona, that's funny. Puddles, gotta mop it up. Flavors, a pineapple, mango, strawberry. You can also get a Dole Whip swirl, Dole Whip pineapple serve, Dole Whip float. It doesn't seem like there's any And then you can see right here, they have a little seating area that you guys can come and sit down after you get your dough whips and food and stuff. And you can just kind of chill right here and enjoy it in this area. So. Give me a quick second here as I'm looking where we're gonna take this live stream next, guys. In the meantime, make sure to watch this stream in 1080p resolution. Have that resolution set at 1080p. Hit the like button. And uh, we're, we're gonna continue this live stream right now. Just uh, kinda enjoy this little waterfall here. Look how peaceful this sounds. This is called the Tropical Hideaway.
and I will show you guys something right now. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are having a good Wednesday. Get started here right now. What's up, Kyle? Yeah, we're definitely gonna be watching the Wondrous Journey Fire Ridge later on tonight here in this live stream. So that'll be at 9:30 later on tonight. We're also gonna be watching Road of Color. That's gonna be I think we're gonna do the second show of Road of Color at 10.15. Now there is a chance, no, yeah, yeah, we'll do 10.15. We'll do the the uh, second show of Road of Color tonight. So 10.15, we'll, we'll get over to BCA after the fireworks and we will go ahead and, uh, and check out Road of Color later on tonight. Nice, Daniela, hope you had a great time at Downtown Disney. Jason G, welcome in here to the stream. Good to see you. All right, guys. Look, this is what I. This is why I was kind of stalling here a little bit here in this area. Sorry, if everybody was like, "Why is this guy just waiting here?" But I wanted to get something because, you know, I looked at the photo and it looks so good, and I don't usually grab things. For I usually don't eat things from here at Disneyland, but when things look pretty good like this right here, I have to try it out for research purposes, of course, just to try it out. And then if it's good, maybe you guys can grab it when you guys come. So, you know, we're going to do a little bit of research right now, even though I've had this before, but it just looks so good. I saw everybody eating this inside of the show. It's been a really long time since I've tried one of these and I really wanted to give it a shot. So. Hold on, let me give you guys a little bit of a close-up here so you guys can see what this is working, what we're working with here, what this is. You can see there's Dole Whip, fruit, and sauce, pineapple. Look at this case. Now, is this a skip or is this a buy? What do you guys think about this? Let me get you guys a price, so that way you guys can do a little vote. Is this for a skip or a buy? Eight fifty. Do a little vote here in the chat, guys. Are you guys buying this? Or are you guys skipping on this? This is being sold for eight dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> is this a skip or is this a buy? I think this is definitely a buy for me. Puddle says he's tried it and he's skipping on it. So puddles, no, no dough whip for you, okay? <laughs> puddles, last time you told me you liked it, or did you change your mind? Puddles, come on, it's a, it's, it's a, we're having a dough whip kind of day today. Very chill, guys. I went to the beach earlier, and it's just been a super chill day today. I have to enjoy this with you guys here on the live stream, and. We're gonna go ahead and continue this live here, guys. Let's go, let's start walking to the next thing that we're gonna do. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the stream so far tonight. Hold on, guys. Let's see, where we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and continue walking here. We just finished up with the Tiki Room. That was awesome. And we're gonna go ahead and continue walking straight ahead here into into Disney California Adventure so let's start walking here down Main Street and all that Dragon 28 happy Wednesday to you thank you so much for being in here and watching tonight
Okay guys, I took a bite of this. And this is my review, okay? Now I apologize if my review isn't as good. I know I'm I, I, I'm horrible when it comes to reviewing things, but basically I would get this again because it's really good and it's not super sweet and it's not super spicy. There is some you know some of that tahine on here, but it's not super spicy it's it's called chamoy also the fruit tastes very fresh the dough whip itself is very cold and refreshing and i would totally get this again so this is very good guys that's my review of the dough whip with the fruit on it thank you for the super chat Thank you so much for the super chat. Eight, <laughs> 850 on the super chat. How'd you do that, by the way? I always get curious how you do a super chat in that way, but that is very cool. Thank you for, uh, for that. Sigh, girl. I got your dough whip. Sigh, girl. I'm gonna enjoy this dough whip here, and you didn't have to do that, but thank you so much. I appreciate you. Hey, Tanisha Boyer, welcome into the live stream. Good to see you in here. All right, guys, let's continue walking over to Disney California Adventure. Alright guys, some more um, review notes here on this dough whip is that the fruit gets a really nice crunchy texture to it. Like, it's not crunchy, but hmm, that's the best way I can describe it. Like, the dough whip is frozen, right? So, as the fruit has been sitting on the dough whip for a little bit, it kind of gets a little frozen. So, if you like you know like boba or something like texture when you're like eating something you're gonna really like the way that the little fruit cubes uh taste or have like a cool like frozen crunch to it i hope that makes sense patrick welcome in icy like an icy little frozen fruit cube Hello, Jahar. Welcome into the live stream. We're walking over to Disney California Adventure right now.
all right guys this stream has been awesome so far i appreciate all of you guys uh, that are in here enjoying this walk we're gonna go ahead and scan in here also earlier today i saw people working on those uh on those new turnstiles right the ones that have these you know the the magic band sensors the new really cool high-tech ones there was a couple people working on them so i think soon it'd be cool if like all of them eventually end up getting it that'd be really cool kind of how they have it at walt disney world We're walking inside a DCA right now. Hey Kimberly, thank you so much for joining in here. Awesome Blazer, thank you for watching. What's up Joy? Hey, Sona Song, thank you for joining in here on the live stream. What's up, Antonio? No worries. Thank you for joining in. What's up, Mega Man? Good to see you here on the live. Thank you for joining in. All right, guys, so we're inside a DCA now, as you can see here. So far, it doesn't seem all that crowded as we're just kind of, you know, walking inside here on uh, Buena Vista Street. It seems fairly chill. Let's walk down a little bit further here. Let's see what things are looking like. Let me read you guys a couple of wait times, too. You guys can kind of get an idea of how busy this park is right now. Sorry about that weird movement. I had to plug into the charger. The beach was super, it was super cool. The weather was really nice today. And yeah, I really liked it. All right, guys, so let me read you some of the wait times here instead of this specific park. The Golden Zephyr is at a 15 minute wait right now. Goofy Sky School is at 70 minutes. Grizzly River Run is a five minute wait. That's the one that you get, you know, it's the, the raft, you get a little wet on it. And Credit Coaster is a 45 minute wait. Inside Out is 30 minute wait. The Curacao, uh, Jesse's Curacao, uh, 10 minute wait. Jumping Jellyfish, 25 minute wait. The Little Mermaid ride is only a five minute wait. So we're gonna go ahead and start walking over in that area right now. Let's go on that right now. Luis, uh, Luigi's Roadsters is a 40 minute wait. Mater's Junkyard Jamboree, 15 minute wait. Monsters Inc. Uh, 45 minute wait. We actually went on that one yesterday, I believe. Soren right now is at an 85 minute wait. Midway Mania, 40 minute wait. Web Slingers is a 50 minute wait right now. What do you guys think about the wait times? So, you know, obviously right now, wait times are a little bit high, but 
the little mermaid ride is only five minutes so let's go in that direction we're gonna do that ride and then we'll kind of start making our way back down over to the hollywood land area we'll check out yes, drawing we'll check out maybe turtle talk uh even feel Heart magic if it's available so let's go over and uh, get on that ride there first by the way make sure to hit the like button guys and also uh join me tomorrow there's going to be another uh, live stream for you guys to watch tomorrow uh, thursday this week's going by kind of fast huh but it's been a good week overall hope you guys have had a good week overall and there's been some really cool streams that we've done uh, monday tuesday now wednesday we're having another really good one so happy you guys are in here watching it's been really cool <laughs> Carla Fox, we got a super chat from Jeremy777, sends us $5. Thank you, Jeremy, for the super chat. Steve, any characters at Disneyland or DCA? Walking in, I didn't see any. Over at Disneyland, I did see uh, Mickey and Goofy. But here inside of, uh, of DCA, I didn't see didn't see any, which is kind of rare. Usually, you know, there'll be some characters at the kind of exits of Five and Dime in that Buena Vista Street area. But well, we could take another look here as we as we get back over there a little bit later on tonight. They should be out there closer to closing time. They're usually uh, like hanging out. Sometimes they even hang out by the uh, like they'll hang out inside of the red car trolley. Thank you for the super chat, Jeremy. Hey, Haley. Steve, have you met Baymax yet? No, I haven't. I haven't showed him on the live stream, but I believe Puddles said that we would do that on a live stream soon. So we'll talk to him about it. And uh, I'll, I could definitely show you guys. Whoa, look at those interesting noises over here. Can you guys hear that? If I remember correctly, that's what it sounds like when you're walking into uh, into the Pandora land in uh, Animal Kingdom. It kind of sounds like that, if I can remember correctly. Let me take you guys here through the waterfall. It looks cool. Here on the left side. Let me show you guys right here. Let me show you. Yeah. I wonder if that's like an artificial noise or if it's a real animal that's making that noise. Hey, what's up, Waldo? Good to see you. There's people here on the uh, on the boats. Oh, you know what? There's a really cool viewing area right over here. Hold on. Let me show you. Look at this. You walk down here. There's a little trail you guys can get on. Better view. I don't want to get a splash. 
stand right here I should be fine. Alright look, here's a good view right here. We'll do one more. Hopefully you guys were able to see. I know it's a little bit dark. You guys want to see the Dr. Strange show? Yeah, we could. Oh, we definitely could, guys. Puddles, when is the next Doctor Strange show? When you're walking by this little area right here, you can feel, you can feel the wind, you can feel the mist, you can, you, you get a, you know, you can feel the, the moisture from that little water, from that waterfall right there. Okay, thank you, Puddles. Nice, over 300 likes. You guys have been uh, doing such a good job with hitting the like button on my recent live streams. So I appreciate all of you guys so much for, for doing, hitting the like button. Trust me, it means a lot to me. So big thank you to everybody who, I know there's a lot of you guys, the first thing you do right when you join in, you hit the thumbs up button on my live. You guys are awesome. Eight fifteen puddles, huh? So we saw the Doctor Strange show, I think on Monday's stream. Do you guys want to see it again? I know there was like two people that wanted to check it out and we could definitely make it to the to the show. There's a, the last one's at 8.15. I could definitely show it to you guys. Just uh, do a little vote here in the chat or, or do you guys want to skip on it for today? Yeah, there's a dessert party. That's a dessert party right here to the left side. You saw that line? That's a road of color dessert party for the first show which is at i believe at nine the first show what time is the first show of uh, i believe nine i believe nine is the first show We'll skip on Doctor Strange show for today. For any of you guys that haven't seen Doctor Strange show recently, or maybe you guys are just missing it, don't worry. Um, I'll try to get it in tomorrow's live stream. That way, you guys can watch it inside that stream for tomorrow. Okay, so uh, remind me tomorrow. We're already kind of made our way here to the mermaid ride too, so we're kind of kind of a little late. But let me take you guys on this right here first. 
a lot of people in this area. Yes. Okay. By the way, Tanisha, it's good to see you here on the stream again. I'm happy you were able to join today. All right, guys, here we go. Little Mermaid ride, five minute wait. Five minute wait time here for this ride. Let's get in the, in the queue here. Tonight, we got a lot of cool shows that we're gonna be watching, guys. Road of, Road of Color, we're also gonna be watching the fireworks show at 9.30. Wondrous Journey. We'll watch it from Main Street, so that way we can go ahead and uh, park hop over to DCA once the fireworks show's over. Maybe we can try to sneak in Soren. Kind of like how we did last time. So hopefully, you know, Soren isn't looking too bad once we get uh, back in here. Because, you know, DCA closes at 10. So as long as you're inside the park, as long as you're inside the line, even if we miss, like, the beginning... You know, the beginning, uh, first half of uh, World of Color, I'm sure you guys wouldn't mind to do some soaring. I really wanted to start the stream today actually with the Magic Happens Parade, the second showing of Magic Happens Parade at 5.30, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to. I thought I was going to have enough time to, you know, what really slowed it down was the security line. I, the security line was longer than I expected and I wasn't able to secure, you know, secure a spot, get the screen ready and everything. So. But do you guys want to check, you guys want to start with the parade tomorrow? I know I asked that yesterday, but now I know that, uh, you know, on busy days like this, especially this week, spring break. Tomorrow, I think we're gonna start off uh, with the Magic Happens Parade. We'll do the second show, of course, by Friday. That's how DCA is looking like right now. shouldn't have any delays i already know there's gonna it's, you know it's gonna be a busy thursday most likely tomorrow again so we'll definitely have uh i'll definitely be here ready to to start that, as soon as the parade gets going and maybe we can even watch it from a different place so hi how many hi how many you know the second parade for magic happens starts at main street area so maybe we can try checking out a different spot. But, but I mean, the spot I get on Main Street is always really nice. It's always a really good view. So. 
We'll see. Crystal, no worries. Definitely uh, check out the replay. If not, then Friday I should be live again. So we'll see you uh, Friday. Thank you, Illuminated. I'm happy you are uh, watching the stream tonight. And by the way, I'm charging the phone right now. Battery is at about 80%. So, for some weird reason, the battery is kind of going by really fast. Usually, it goes a little bit slower than this. We're only at about an hour and a half down the street. Nice, I'm happy the 1080p is looking good. Yeah guys, make sure if, you know, I know there's a lot of, maybe there's a lot of you guys that are watching. You can switch over your resolution to 1080p. Sometimes YouTube leaves it at like 480 or, or something or, or 720. But if you switch it over manually to 1080p, the stream should look even better. Today's such a good Wednesday, guys. Such a good Wednesday. Oh, a nice Disney mom, you're eating pizza. That sounds really good, actually. Enjoy the ride, guys. Enjoy the ride. Hello, uh, Aisha. Emily Shaw, welcome in. By the way, what should we do after we're done with this ride? Should we go over and do Turtle Talk or should we do the drawing? What do you guys think? Stay tuned in the while I get to the back of the place. 
We've come to a stop. Something happened. Yeah, when Ariel fell, had all my things and what? Well, it it began when Kim tried to ask Sebastian to keep an eye on Ariel. Wait, drawing. Okay, there's a lot of drawing here in the chat. We definitely need to draw.
had a wonderful time. Now, please stand up. I'm very curious guys if I wanted to show you the first show of Road of Color which is usually the busiest Road of Color show of the two just by the amount of people that want to watch the first one I'm very curious to see if I could so right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to see if I could get a spot somewhere if I could then we'll watch it if not then I'm just curious we're gonna do a little bit of trial and error here Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that ride. I'll let you guys know what they uh, what they say right now. On the bridge, looks a little looks a little busy there on the bridge. Puddles back. That is true. There, uh, there's all, uh, you know, I used to I used to show you guys road of color from the bridge view all the time, and it was a good view actually. But it looks like it's kind of busy right now. A lot of people. Are Let's see what kind of cool spot I could get for you guys right now. This is Road of Color number one. I'm gonna try to get, you know, nice up close, but then what about the fireworks show? Getting worried, guys. I'm getting worried here. Because I wanna show you guys the fireworks show, but it's kind of windy, so I don't know if they're gonna do the fireworks show. Let's take a look here. Dining packages right here, look. If you guys purchase a dining package, this would be where you guys would be sitting down right here. All throughout that area right there. You would have a really good view. This is kind of, you're a little bit higher up, so you would have a really good view of the show, overall show right there. This is the 
wet zone, right? Look at this, guys. I mean, this is as close as you can possibly get to the to the show. Forty-five minute wait? You're kidding. My bad guys, I thought this was gonna start soon. Let's go over to uh, Animation Academy. Sorry guys, I told, I, I'm i serious. I thought this was gonna start very, very soon. Look at the amount of people that are waiting here. Forgive me guys, I thought, I, I genuinely thought this was gonna start sometime soon. We'll watch the second show. That way we don't miss out on the fireworks or anything. Look, even this area is getting busy. So we're gonna exit right here. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and start walking over to the uh, Hollywood Land area, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and check out some drawing. A lot of you guys wanted to do the drawing, so let's go see what character they're gonna they're gonna do. And I'm pretty sure the next drawing show is gonna be at 8:30. And right now it is 8, 11 p.m. So we definitely have time to get over to that area. And uh, we'll definitely have a, we'll, you know, we'll be able to get a good spot to check out the drive. You guys can see this whole area right here is kind of you know viewing areas for the road of color show so we'll be back here later on tonight but you know I used to watch that show cake boss all the time every now and then I'll watch an episode <laughs> I have been to the bakery though hello Jerry welcome in This right here is Sonoma Terrace. You guys can get like cocktails and stuff like that here at this area. I also have a lot of seating and stuff like that. Here to my right side is gonna be a Pacific Wharf area. Well, not, no, sorry, not Pacific Wharf.
so happy that I just remembered about this. I have something to tell you. Since Monday, but I keep forgetting. Oh. <laughs> uh, sorry about the lag guys that was something um really bad that happened there very interesting little lag spot here as inside of dca usually that doesn't happen so all right let's go ahead and uh continue walking this way over into uh, the animation building because we have to go and we're gonna do some drawing here on the stream so if you guys have never done this before here with me kids this way, this I give way. you guys a really good view so you guys can follow along on the live stream you guys can do it from home so get ready and uh, we're gonna go I had no idea what character they're gonna be drawing but we'll go ahead and uh, last we've been getting some really cool characters as of lately Last time we got uh, Cusco from Emperor's New Groove. Last time we also got Lainey McQueen from Cars. So put in some guesses here in the chat. What do you guys think we're going to get this time? But we're here inside Hollywoodland. So let's go ahead and, uh, and get inside the building. The building's right there on that side. Ah, oh, that's right. I have something to tell you guys. Man, that's horrible timing how the stream kind of, you know, ended up lagging right when I was saying that. So we'll let a couple people join in here on the live. Maybe they need to reset it or something. But yeah, I've been wanting to tell you guys this since Monday. So I can't, you know, wait any longer. I have to tell you guys today. You know, Tenacious Boy, that's definitely a video that would be really cool to film. I would just need some help to order some food. So maybe I could tell Puddles to join me for that video. And <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll post it. You guys can hear Puddles. He describes food way better than I do, so. We need to go to uh, Blue Bayou and do a food vlog. A food vlog. Animation building, guys. Let's see what character we're going to be drawing right now. Also, make sure to hit the like button on this live stream, guys. If you guys are in here watching, it's kind of busy in here. If you guys are in here watching, big, big thank you to everybody for hitting the thumbs up button. There's turtle talks over there. And let's see, let's take a look here.
All right, so there it is. That's the character that you guys will be watching here on the stream. Let's get in this line here. At the Animation Academy. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting I need to tell you guys that, what I need to tell you. So, um, pretty much, Daily Grace, uh, Gracie says, Steve. when we're walking over to DCA after the fireworks show because it's pretty it's something really cool and I, I don't want anybody to miss it so uh, after the fireworks show remind me and I'll tell you guys when we're walking over to DCA because there's kind of a lot of information so uh, I need some time to kind of explain it all so and if, uh, once we head back to Disneyland after this we'll head back to Disneyland watch the fireworks show and then I'll tell you guys after. We're about to walk in here right now, that's why. I need, I need to, you see? We're, we're walking inside right now, so I need some, I need some, some, some walk and talk time so I can explain to you guys what's happening. It's good, it's good stuff though. It's no, nothing bad, nothing bad. You guys, you guys are going to like what I'm, uh, what I'll tell you guys. So we got about another five minutes here. You know guys, one thing that I'm actually uh, really, really curious about is if the fireworks show is gonna actually happen today because it, it, it's a little bit windy, but you know, these past couple nights here, we've been getting really lucky with the fireworks show. So I think, I, I personally think they're gonna go through. What, what do you guys think? Put it here in the, in the, in the comments. What do you guys think? Put it here in the chat. Do you guys think we're gonna get the, the fireworks show? And if there is no fireworks show, do they just do the Mickey's Mix Magic projections or they still do the, the Wonders Journey projections? What's plan B there? Hey Disney Mom, welcome into the live. We're behind. Yeah, make sure your your little live is red. That way you're you know you're you're up to date there. <laughs> or did I, I what was what did I do last year so it, no no this, this one's not a, a joke right now. this one's really good stuff
That sounds like a horrible joke. I can't believe I did that to you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry about that.
Oh, no, no. You guys still having trouble? No, no. Don't form a single file line. Come all the way down. Choose any open row. The orange and green rows are especially empty at this point. So whichever row that you choose, just go across all the way down. Do not leave any open spaces. You're going to move all the way down. Make sure you don't see any of the party beside you. If you still need paper, so you'll be done at the end of the row on the side. Other than that, you're all the way across. Right now. I think that is all we have today. But how is everyone doing today? Yay. Glad to see the caffeine hasn't kicked in anymore. Let's try that one more time. How's everyone doing today? Yay. How are you? My name is Philip. I'm a Disney artist here, and tonight I'm going to teach you how to draw May May from Turning Red. Yay. Awesome. Do we have some Turning Red fans in here? Yeah. These two people up here. <laughs> But before we get started, there's just a few things that we have to go over first. Let me introduce you to my friend Nick right over here. Say hi, Nick. Hi, Nick. Hi. Nick is going to be our TA for this class, which means he is here to help you. So if your pencil breaks or something like that, just raise your hand, and Nick will do his best to assist you. Through the same doors that came in from on the other side, give them a hard push open. And I do recommend the one on the far right hand side that's easiest to open, and that will take you back on out to get your own you see you in a class, what to do. <laughs> You're supposed to like that. <laughs> <laughs> but before we begin, we have one last thing to go over. Everyone take a look at your pencils and tell me what might be missing. Eraser. An eraser, that's right. We don't have any erasers here at the Academy. We use called rough sketch artwork. So what that means is we're going to be drawing everything very light and very loose. And we're only going to darken in a line or lock in a line when we want to keep it. Everyone got it? Yeah. yeah. Good. Okay. So we're going to be drawing Mei Mei in her panda form. So are we ready to get started? Woo! All right, let's go. So Mei Mei actually starts off with a basic geometric shape, and in this case, we're going to start off with a circle. Now you can draw, very likely, draw as many circles as you need to get the shape that you want. And if you can't draw a perfect circle, that's also okay. We're just using this as a guide point. But once we have the circle, we're going to start some of our construction lines, and this is so we can get all of our features locked in place on May May, make sure they're all uh, pretty even. So the first thing we're going to do is going to be a vertical line that's going to cut right through the middle. And then we're going to do another construction line that's going to go, again, right through the center again, but we're going to go horizontally. And after you're done with that, you basically have Kylo Ren's lightsaber and a potato. <laughs> but let's go ahead and start giving her some features. Now, the first feature we're going to do for Mei Mei is that we're going to give her her nose and her snout. So her nose is going to start off with just a curved rainbow shape here in the middle, right where all of our lines meet. And then we're actually going to round this off at the bottom with kind of a flat bottom here. So we have like a, something like a dumpling or a gumdrop. And at this point, we're actually going to lock this in place pretty early. When you see as I'm darkening the lines here, pressing down a bit harder, it actually makes our construction lines begin to fade out into the background. Now next, we're going to be giving her her muzzle. Now her muzzle is going to be like an upside down heart. And to do this, we're going to be making this set of candy cane shapes that's going to be right on the outside here, using our center line as a guide point. So we're going to make one side coming over here, and then over on the other side, and just have them meet up at the top and at the bottom. Now once we have the lines that we like, we're going to go ahead and lock this in as well. And you want to kind of round out the top of it just a little bit. And then just bring the lines to the other side. Now the last part of May May's sound that we're going to be giving her is the filtra. Now all mammals have this. It's just that connecting line that comes right from her, their upper lip up to their nose. And to do that, this one line just brings it straight up. And you can lock that straight into place. Now, 
at this point, it looks like we have a bear and a snowstorm. So let's go ahead and give her her smile. Now, Mei Mei actually has a lot of different smiles in this movie. She has that big, round, like gum, uh, almost like a gummy bear or a gumdrop <laughs> smile. But we're gonna give her the smile when she sees her favorite band. Does anyone know what her favorite band's called? Four Town. Town. Yeah, that's right. So now, to start with this, we're gonna just come from the side of her muzzle here and make a little rainbow shape on either side. And then, we're gonna go ahead and make connect this with a big stretched out letter U. And you can actually drop this almost to the bottom of our circle. And once you have your favorite shape here, go to lock this in place. <coughs> now, with that locked in, we're actually going to be adding in Mei Mei's teeth and her tongue. Now, her tongue is the easiest part, and all it's going to be is just a hill rainbow here at the bottom. So you can lock that in pretty quickly. Now, her teeth, we're actually going to lightly make a stretched out letter U here. But we're not going to lock this in yet because first we're going to be giving her her canine teeth. Now we're going to actually keep these pretty rounded off because we like to keep our sharper features or more of like our harsh lines for a lot of our villain characters. And Mei Mei might be a teenager, but she's not a villain. But once we have those in place, we're going to lock in the sides of the canines and then the line right between them. But after that's done, you can go ahead and shade in the back of her mouth just to give a little bit more contrast for our drawing. And now we're going to go again and give her the sides of her cheeks here because she's a very, very fluffy panda. So all we have to do for that is make a letter C or an arch from the lower part of her jaw here to the side. And then we're going to do it again over on this side here. And once we have those cheeks done, we can actually start to lock in the whole outer part of our drawing because this isn't going to change. And while we're locking in, I'm going to give you some fun facts about this film. So this film was actually directed by Domi Shi. <coughs> who also directed another little short for Pixar, which was her debut. Does anyone know which short that she uh, directed? Bao. Bao, that's right. And you actually see Bao up in this movie on one of the billboards. Now, another fact about this film is that it was actually the first Pixar film to have all of its lead directors and producers were women which was something really cool. But it also had a really fun uh, side effect of that. It's also a Pixar film that came down early and under budget. <laughs> <laughs> but once we have this locked in, we're now gonna give Mei Mei her eyes. Now her eyes are actually just behind her snout on either side here, and they're gonna be a pair of circles. So to make these circles, what we're gonna do is just lightly go and sketch these out. And they're about a little smaller than the whole snout itself, so you can go ahead and just work this out until you have a shape that you like. And then you want to keep these even as possible. Because you don't want to have Mei Mei just have one eye you know, much bigger or smaller than the other, because then it'll look like maybe she's like halfway transformed or something. But once we have these circles in place, you can go ahead and lock these in. <coughs> And after that, you will have a panda that very much needs a cup of coffee. <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and wake her up. Now to wake her up, what we're gonna do here is give her her pupils. Now her pupils are gonna be another circle inside of her eye, and it's actually gonna take up most of the area in here. And I wanna have her looking out at all of us, so I'm gonna actually put it right along the inside edge, basically touching the side of her eye. Now be careful with this, because you don't want to like cut the circle, you still want to have the full circle. Because if you only did like half the circle, she'd look cross-eyed. So make sure we fill in that full circle here on the inside. Now once you have those pupils in place, 
because she is going to be super excited, we're going to give her some highlight points. Now those highlight points are going to be another pair of circles, you might be seeing this right here, that we're going to put coming at an angle this way. Now the reason for this is, this is actually uh, something you see in a lot of uh, anime, and Domi Shi used a lot of different anime references in this film, including a lot of references to Sailor Moon. But once we have those eyes locked in, darken them in as much as possible. Try to make these the darkest point of our drawing, so that when someone looks at our drawing, their eyes are the central focus. Now next, I'm going to go ahead and build up the top part of this circle here, just to give her a bit of a lash line. Not too thick, because her mom probably wouldn't appreciate her wearing too much makeup, but enough so that we can see like when she's blinking, because this cue is made in 3D, where the top eyelid is from the bottom. But at that point, we've actually reached our halfway point with our panda, so I want to do a quick check-in. How are we all feeling about our drawing so far? <laughs> all right, I'm hearing some people who sound excited and some people less than excited. But that's okay, we still have a few more features before we're done. But also, it's important to remember that when we're drawing, all of our art is individual. It's like our signature, so everything is going to be our own unique take on these characters. But the most important question though, are we having fun? Yeah. Wonderful. So I see some people still making some line work, so I'm gonna give them a chance to catch up. So, you guys all know what a red panda looks like, right? Yeah. Now here's the question. What do you think the red panda is named after? That's right, it's, the red panda is in fact the original panda. A panda bear is actually named after the red panda for how its markings work. And the other fun thing about a red panda, it's literally related to nothing else in nature. It's its own little unique uh, creature that's basically its own thing, but they haven't quite figured out who else it's related to. But it looks like everyone's hooking up. Are we ready to keep going? <laughs> All right. So right now, what we're going to be adding into Mei Mei is going to be some of her stripes. So we're going to start this by starting a rainbow shape on either side of her cheeks just above that line that we made earlier. And again, we're gonna keep this light for right now. But after we have that in place, we're gonna go ahead and curve this back on itself. We're almost like we're making a candy cane. And then bring up a parentheses from the bottom. So we're gonna get like an almost a teardrop shape on the side of our head. And then do the same shape over here, curve it back on itself. Another way you can look at this is wherever that you made these C curves outside of our circle, they tuck right where those meet the circle at the top. But once you have those in place and you like where your lines are, you can go ahead and lock these in. So the reason that actually Maybe and her uh, family turn into pandas is for a very, very important reason that the director really thought hard about. She actually just thinks red pandas are super cute. So that was the reason behind that. But the, this team also did a lot of research, not just for like the Toronto area, but they also wanted to make sure that they researched a few other things to make sure that the shrine that the family had was correct. And the, uh, from the, they actually studied one in particular in Northern California called the Balkai Temple, which is in Marysville. But now, we're going to go ahead. What might be missing from our panda here? Ears. Her ears, yeah. We kind of <laughs> so her ears are going to be big uh, domes off the top, more like a gumdrop shape, though. So we're going to start just basically from just for the inside point of her eyes. We're going to draw lines coming up. And you're going to make a big gumdrop shape on either side. If you're trying to find a good measurement for the outside ear, think about the bottom of her ear should be about the halfway point between her cheek and the top of the circle. But again, once you have these in place, go ahead and lock these down. Another really fun thing about this movie that a lot of people actually miss is that this is the only Pixar film to break the fourth wall. And that happens right at the start, where Mei Mei actually talks directly to the audience for a moment. Now, to make her ears look more than just, well, 
two cones on our head. We're gonna actually make another curve coming from the highest point of the spheres and bringing down like a reverse parentheses or a C curve. And because she has a little fluff in there, we're gonna turn this into another candy cane shape and then a shark fin. If you're wondering why they make a lot, why I'm making a lot of food references, it's because the joke about a starving artist, it's it's not a joke. Now we're gonna add her to the last bit of fluff on either side, and that's gonna be just two more shark fin shapes on either side. Go ahead and bring this out and bring it down a little bit, and then one more coming over to the side, and then same thing here on the left. and then lock these in. <laughs> so I did mention that she had a lot of anime references in this film. And in fact, the original name of the film was gonna be, uh, let's see, what was it called again? Oh yeah, uh, my, na my Neighborhood Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously they did not go with that. Now, we are pretty much done with our May May, so now what we're gonna do is go and do some shading. So you're gonna take the side of your pencil and we're gonna go ahead and rub in the back of her ears here. And use the side of your pencil for two reasons. One, you'll get a very nice even tone. And two, it'll keep your pencil sharp. Yes, here at the Academy, we'll teach you the secret tricks that all artists use to make sure that their material lasts as long as possible. We're also gonna shade in her nose. And now the back of her head. Now, there is one last feature that we need to give Mei Mei, and that's gonna be her eyebrows. So her eyebrows are little teardrops that are right above her eyes here. And to start, just add a little arch, or like the start of a rainbow on either side. And then, you're gonna go ahead and make a curve coming up and back down. And then, finally, she just has her whiskers coming <coughs> off the side of her cheeks here. And you can have fun with these because they're just little uh, squiggly lines coming on either side. But once that's in place, find a place to go ahead and sign your name. Because now each and every one of you have drawn your very own red panda, May May. Did we all have fun? Yes. Wonderful. I'm glad you do that because here at the Academy, we have a tradition for an art show. So on the count of three, you're going to turn your boards around. So I want to see each and every one of these pandas. So on three now. One, two, three, May May! <laughs> oh, these look great! Great job, everybody! Fantastic work there. Very good for following the line. There, oh, I took them off the whole page. Great job with that. <laughs> <laughs> Great job there at the top as well. Fantastic work back there. All of you give yourselves a round of applause. You've all passed the academy tonight. Mine's looking a little rough, guys. Just a little fair warning, all right? All right, everybody. Have a round of applause for Philip, your artist. Great job, everyone. Thank you for joining us here at the Animation Academy. The decks and doors on your left oh are God, now man. open. Before you leave, though, please prop up your artboard against the back of the seat with the pencil in the screen and make sure you have all your belongings. So double check, you have all your money swatches. Pop up those boards against the back of the seat and put those pencils in the screen. If you have any paper you would like to recycle, please throw it in the wire bin at the bottom of the ramp. Also, if you would like to join us for another class, please exit the theater and rejoin the line outside of the courtyard. But if we don't see you again, thank you and enjoy the rest of your animated day here at Disney California Adventure. It is not a masterpiece, guys. It's, it's a little rough. <clears throat> here, let me show you guys. Let me show you guys. Let me go outside so, I can, so you guys can look at this. All right.
make sure to hit the like button here on this live stream we're gonna go ahead and start walking over to disneyland for the fireworks show that's gonna start at 9 30 so let's see what time it is right now and uh 8 51 all right so yeah we'll do a little you know slow poke walk over there and uh we'll check out the fireworks show at 9 30. All right, guys, so I got some pandas. one's a little bit what do you guys think told you guys told you guys you know it's hard filming and drawing that's my excuse I wish I could see your guys. I want to see what you guys uh, drew. I know you guys probably have one that looks way better than mine. Yeah. But it's always cool to show you guys this. It is a little scary. Yeah, I know. All right, we're going to go ahead and exit here. Let's exit here in this area. There's uh, exit doors right here. Let's go ahead and... Oh, you know what? We should go on the trolley. Let me see if I can take you guys on this here. The trolley's right over there. Let's take the trolley all the way back over to the entrance of this park. Let's go.
the red car trolley. For your safety, please remain seated, keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside. And watch your children. Para su seguridad, por favor permanezcan sentados con las manos, brazos, pies y piernas adentro del tranvía. Y cuiden a sus niños. Gracias. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, continue this journey on foot now <laughs> because uh, they're gonna make a trip over to Hollywood Land, so they're pretty much gonna go back down that way because the other one, you guys are gonna see another trolley right now. That one's charging. By the way, this stream looks super dark. Hopefully, it looks good on your guys' end. Let me see if it needs to be brightened up a little bit here. No, it should be looking good. Maybe it just looks dark on my end. Uh, make sure you guys are watching this in 1080p resolution. Did we get over 500 likes? I think we did. If we did, you guys are awesome. I appreciate everybody in here who hits the like button on my live streams. Thank you so much. And uh, if you're just joining in here to the live, welcome in. We're walking over to Disneyland. The fireworks show is going to be at 930. So we're walking over so that way we can uh, be there before you know everything gets going there's some new disney home like disney home stuff
desk lamps and pro propagation station. Nice, over 500 likes. Thank you, Crystal, for the update on that. They also have these floor mats. You can see here is the other red car trolley right there. Battery, we're doing, we're looking pretty good actually. We're at about 55% uh, battery here on the phones, on the streaming phone. So we're definitely looking good. I also have the extra additional battery here to recharge. So that one is also looking good. So we definitely should have a couple more hours here on the live stream. This is not the exit. The exit's gonna be over here on this side. So let's walk this way. All right, guys, audio should be back. Sorry, I got a quick phone call. What's up, Eric? Welcome in here to the stream. Park hopping over to Disneyland, you can see. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and scan inside of this park and let's get over to the Main Street area. We still got some time, actually, so we'll probably uh, check out, do a little skipper buy here before the fireworks show gets going, 904. Let's do some skipper buys, guys. Which store do you guys want me to, do you guys want me to check out? We got Disney Clavier's. Emporium, Disneyana, and uh, which other one? Which one was it? Disney Showcase. There's a lot of shops on Main Street. You guys want me to just kind of go free for all, or you guys want a specific shop, or what should we do? Put it here in the chat. All right, we're inside Disneyland now. The jewelry store. Oh, you know what? That's something that I haven't shown you guys. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly which which store you're talking about. Let me take you guys there. The magic store. There's not really much things. Oh, you know what? There is things to buy there. You're right. It's just magic stuff, though. Do you guys want to see that kind of stuff? Or do you guys want to see, like, Disney merch? Inside the magic shop, it's just like uh, like like little magic toys and stuff like that. Uh, uh, Jerry, I got your uh, characters. Thank you for the super chat earlier. You can see right here, there's some characters. This is uh, Mickey. Uh, and then right here in front of the great moments with Mr. Lincoln. And then also right over here, there's Minnie over on the left side.
you can see here's uh, Mickey Mouse on this side. All right, so we'll be watching the fireworks here from this area once 9.30 comes a little bit closer. In the meantime, we're gonna go over and check out some Disney stuff here. <laughs> Skipper bye guys. All black. I wonder if it's a hoodie. I, I think this is part of the zip up series here. Oh yeah, yeah. See this. So these zip up. A little bit too a little bit too bright. You guys skipping, you guys buying this right here. This is being sold for $70. There's other colors too of this. I think I've seen like a turquoise color. I've also seen a like dark blue color. And then this is the third one I've seen so far. This is the all black one. So yeah, put the put the results there in the chat. And I will see what you guys say. There's a lot of this is the jewelry store that you guys are talking about. I like jewelry. Bye. Skip. Bye. 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 Skip. Bye. 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 A lot of you guys said bye. So I think the majority of you guys would buy that. Okay. Yeah, a lot of stuff to show you guys here. Let's see. Rings, bracelets, necklaces. They have stuff in display cases over here. If there's anything in specific you guys want to look at, put it here in the chat. I'll try to I'll try to catch it. Earrings. Some of this stuff is really small, so you guys probably can't see it through the camera. It'd be much, uh, you'll definitely be able to see it in more detail once you get here in person. There's rings, earrings. Lounge fly backpacks. We've seen this one before. I don't know about this one. This is another color. Let's see, there's more stuff over here. Let me try to put you in the better zoom camera there.
I hope you guys can see. Give me some feedback. Can you guys see this stuff or is it too small? Trying to show you guys. It's behind glass too, so it makes it a little bit harder. Somebody was looking for a Rolex. They don't have a Rolex, but they have a Disney Wish watch. And it looks like you can probably get 40% off. I don't know, maybe you have to read the fine print there, but this is being sold for $40. Who was looking for a Rolex in the chat? Somebody was in there asking for a Rolex. I don't see any. Rolexes in here. If I find one though, I will let you know. Oh, you know what? Look. I found some more watches. Okay, if any of you guys want to come and take a closer look at some of the things I just showed you in person, this is in Main Street. Oh, what's the name? This is called... Mm. Hope I'm going to say it right. For, for Tau City Shop. The name is right there. For Tau City Shop. For Tau City there it is guys take a look there's the shot <laughs> 
And they're going to do the fireworks again. Lane 16 right now. Easter. Look, some Easter stuff. Somebody was asking me about pins too. The magic shop? Okay, the magic Where's this magic shop? Oh, it's right here. It's right here. It's right here. Okay, magic shop. All right, guys, I'm inside of the uh, magic shop here on Main Street, and uh, we're going to watch a magic trick. Take a look. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so we're actually going to be using some uh, some Ninja Turtles cards here. Can you go ahead and grab one for me? Anyone that you would like? Any any yeah. card? Any card. All right, uh, let's take a look here. Uh, this one right here. Perfect. Just take it all the way out. Just take a look at it. Okay. And don't show you, right? Correct. Okay. Remember, guys, remember what card. We'll place it right back on top. That way we get to see it the entire time all the way through. There we go. Okay, so we're going to try something really interesting here, okay? Give this a little cut. Give it a raise. Beautiful. And here we go. We're going to try and get your card to jump up to the top. Now, already as it stands, you did not have the Ten of Diamonds? Um... No? I think... I think so. It looks kind of familiar? Yeah, yeah, okay, it does. Okay, okay. It Here, does. Wait. I think I know why. Yeah, it does it, it does it. Okay, it's because the tops were too sharp. Of the diamonds, I mean. So if I get rid of them, we can actually turn it into 10 of hearts, which should actually be your card. Uh, we'll do this again in a slightly different way, in a slightly different fashion. For example, if I place this into the middle, I should probably actually show you that it's going into the middle. So we're gonna place it right there. Can you do me a favor? Can you push that in? Perfect. Now we're gonna try and make a jump to the top, but the top is not here. The top is actually up here. So watch, if I go just like that, it actually jumps all the way up to the top. Every single time. Kind of wow. neat, right? Now we're gonna do one more, but um, do you wanna pick a new card or do you wanna keep using the same old card? I wanna pick a new card. Go for it, pick a new card. Okay. Take this one right here. Beautiful. Show it off again. Memorize it, memorize it. Perfect, I can take that, actually. And place it back, oh, let's get you a better spot. Wherever you want, go ahead and place it back. Anywhere. Yep. Now this trick we're actually gonna be doing in reverse. I know this sounds a little odd, but do this in reverse, ready? All right, did you see it go? No, not much. One card. Jumps all the way over to the pocket. Can you go ahead and flip that over? And it will be none other than your nine of clubs. That wasn't it? No? Oh. You had a red card? Yeah? Well, look, I did say I was gonna do this one reverse. Normally your card does jump to my pocket, but we're gonna do the full deck. Ready? And we leave only one card. Should be our king of diamonds. Oh, no, that was for you guys. Thank you. Thank that you. was really Appreciate cool. It. Yeah, this was our card right here. Dang, that was awesome. Thank you guys. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, guys. That was for all of you guys that love the magic store here at Disneyland. His name was Luke really good guy his name was luke and uh i told him beforehand that i was i was filming and he's like yeah for sure we could do a magic trick that was crazy though how do you put the whole deck of cards uh, 
like that was crazy. I'm gonna have to rewatch the, the stream to see uh, how he did that. Cause that was pretty cool. What'd you guys think? Let me know what you guys thought about the about the match. <laughs> All right, guys, make sure to hit the like button on this live stream if you guys are uh, enjoying so far here tonight. We're going to be watching this fireworks show after this. We're going to go ahead and uh, head over to... Where are we going? And then we're going to go over to DCA, Disney California Adventure. We're going to watch uh, the Road to Phyllis show. Yeah, he was really excited to show you guys. You know what? We're going to go back up here to our usual spot where I show you guys this fireworks show. So that way... Uh, you guys can have a good view. And so far here on the battery, we're looking, uh, you know, we're looking really good here on the battery, so. Big, big thank you to all of you guys in here that are watching this stream tonight. The magic shop was really cool. Sometimes they're a little bit busy in there, so. But today it was perfect because there was nobody in there. So I was like, all right, perfect. I could go and ask if they can, uh, if they can do a firework, a <laughs> firework show, a magic trick. I ended up, he did like two of them, which were, which were really good. Hopefully you guys were able to see on the camera. I was trying to film and watch at the same time. And also, by the way, guys, we're going to try to do Soren uh, right before the Road of Color show. So hopefully we could. What's the wait time on Soren right now? Do any, are any of you guys on the app? Oh, that puddles is some serious stuff right here, puddles. That is a legit camera and lens right there. Good evening, friends. In just a few minutes, the lights will <laughs> you need be to bring dim, your camera so you may fully experience and your, and your our tripod. nighttime spectacular. For your own safety and the safety of those around you, please remain in the same area until the lights return to normal. Thank you. Buenas noches, amigos. 
En tan solo unos minutos, las luces se atenuarán para que puedan disfrutar plenamente de nuestro gran espectáculo nocturno. Por su seguridad y la seguridad de quienes los rodean, por favor permanezcan en su lugar hasta que las luces sean restauradas. Gracias. One more minute, guys. One more minute.
make sure to hit the like button on this live stream guys also don't forget i haven't forgotten about what i have to share with you guys remember i was like i was telling you guys earlier today that that i was telling you guys that uh i had something to tell you so i haven't forgotten all right i'm gonna tell you guys right now right now we're gonna go overwatch road of color but before we do that i think we're gonna try to get on a red maybe soren maybe something with the lower wait time so we don't have to be waiting too long so that way we don't you know miss out on like the whole show road of color all right so tomorrow guys this is the news i have to share with you okay big up to here uh, really really good update and something that i haven't done in a long time but i'm excited because this is going to be something really fun for everybody and i can't wait here it comes So tomorrow, Thursday, you guys are gonna see a video uploaded here on my YouTube channel, but it's not gonna be a video that you guys are normally used to, like uh, like, like a live stream. It's just gonna be a regular video. Now, inside that video, you guys are gonna uh, enter a giveaway. And uh, in the video, you guys will see what you guys will be entering for. And uh, it, it's really easy to enter. You guys will see uh, in the video. And then on Sunday of this week, I will reveal a winner of that giveaway. So be on the lookout tomorrow because you guys will want to enter that giveaway. If any of you guys that have been, you know, here watching my videos for a while, you guys know, you guys might be familiar with this process. And I'm excited to do a giveaway like this. I haven't done one in a really long time and I really want to do one. And I'm excited for you guys to see what I'm going to be giving away. So tomorrow, you guys will see it in the video. <laughs> Not a puppy be back, but it's still something pretty cool. You guys will like it. All right, guys, we're back inside here of Disney, oh, Disney Life, of uh, <laughs> DCA, as you guys can see. We're kind of walking here through Buena Vista Street. Here's another character, Jerry. All right. I think they're going to go hang out over at the Charlie. They do that late at night. I mean, they're doing that. Road of Color is going to start at 10.15, so... Soren, it's a 10 minute wait, guys. Let's go. 10 minute wait for Soren over California. So let's go ahead and uh, walk on over there. Ah, oh, man, you missed it, Nathan. We did uh, Little Mermaid actually a little bit earlier in this live stream. But make sure to check out the replay because. Uh, we got oh, to do that candy? ride okay, never mind. a little bit earlier today. minute wait is perfect for this right that way we can do this right real quick and then uh, make our way over to the road of color show 
there is going to be another live stream for you guys to enjoy tomorrow nathan so make sure to join me in tomorrow it will start around 5 30. and uh i'll make a community post to uh, you know like confirm everything so keep an eye out on my community post tomorrow
5th. Expect a really cool live stream that day in the morning, in the nighttime. And uh, Puddles already told me he's gonna be here with me that day. So he told me there's gonna be a cool giveaway. It's gonna be a really cool stream. So make sure to join me April 5th. It's gonna be some special guests here on the live. Uh, there should be a morning stream. There should be a nighttime stream April 5th. And that's gonna be sometime very soon. Like I think uh, next week. So April 5th on a Friday, April 5th on Friday. Make sure you guys join in for that. That's gonna be a big day. Disneyland and we're gonna get on some rides so we'll do a couple more things here for the uh, for tonight in the meantime let me go ahead and plug in the
I'll say a big thank you uh, once we're done with it right here. Enjoy for now. Hello, and welcome to Soren over California. My name is Patrick, and I'll be your chief flight attendant today. We'll begin boarding in a few minutes, but first I'd like to acquaint you with some important safety information. When the doors to your flight open, please take a seat and store all carry-on items in the underseat compartment. This includes cameras, purses, hats, and of course, these little beauties. Next, fasten your seat belts, inserting them into the buckle on your right. If smaller aviators don't measure up to the height indicator on the seat, just put the belt through the loop in the center strap before buckling. Nice work, pal. Soon you will be airborne. So if you or your little aviators have a fear of flying or of heights, you might want to wait for your party at the arrival gate. Okay, let's review. That is seat, seat belt, carry-on item, safety strap, fear of heights, keep your hands and arms inside at all times, anything else. Yeah, have a nice flight. Soren over California is now ready for immediate boarding. All passengers in gate A may now proceed to the aircraft. We are now conducting our final systems check. Please stow all carry-on items in the under-seat compartment. For your safety, remain seated with your seatbelt fastened during your flight and watch your children. Bienvenidos. Favor de colocar sus efectos personales en el compartimiento debajo del asiento. Para su seguridad, permanezcan sentados con el cinturón de seguridad abrochado durante el vuelo y vigilen a los niños. the tower. We are ready for takeoff.
white banks for soaring over California. To unfasten your seatbelt, just push down on the red button on your right. Be sure to gather all your carry-on items from the under seat compartment and exit to your left. Sorry guys, I just had to uh, plug in some chargers and stuff like that. Okay. By the way, guys, I saw this thing on, it was like a real Instagram, uh, that it was, uh, like, you know that part where you go over the orange trees and then you can smell really nice, you know, fragrance of orange? Anyways, that field, are those orange trees or are those avocado trees? Because on the Instagram reel, it said that it was avocado trees. Do any of you guys know? Is that just a, you know something on instagram or is that a real thing hope you guys are enjoying the live stream here this evening almost four hours here into the stream so if you guys are just joining in make sure you check out the beginning of the stream we actually started this live you know four hours ago over at the uh train the disneyland railroad so we started up with a really really nice view did a full lap, kind of, almost into the Main Street uh, station, but we stopped in Tomorrowland. Tried getting on the monorail, but it was temporarily closed. So we ended up going to the Tiki Room. And then the stream just kind of took off from there, so. Make sure you go back and check out the replay if you guys missed any part of the beginning stream. The sun was still out when we started. Right now we're on the way to watch Road of Color. Obviously, you know, we're missing some of the show, but it's because we did Soren, so we got on a ride. A little, missing a little bit of the show here. Uh, 
Uh, don't worry, Janelle. The replay's there for you to check out when you get some free time. Yeah, James, check out the replay. Uh, I also got a really cool snack somewhere in the beginning of the stream. Check it out. We're almost there. Yeah, that's a good question, Puddles. I, I wonder if it's just like a, if it's like a maintenance thing, or I wonder what's going on. Uh, right now here in uh, SoCal, it is 10:20 uh, p.m. 10:20. All right, guys, enjoy the show. It's gonna get louder right now. About five minutes into the show. We haven't missed much. This is a really long show. Jazz club. That's when I knew I was born to play.
Laura. She's forgetting me. Who? My Coco. I wrote her a song once, but I wouldn't give to sing it to her. One.
and I listen. Do you know who
you have the power to make a difference. It just takes one. One. Remember, no matter who you are or where you're from, you have the power to make a difference. Make your way. Esperamos que hayan disfrutado de World of Color One. Y recuerden, cada uno de ustedes tiene el poder para marcar la diferencia. Inicien su propia ola.
Let's see here. What else? I'm not ending the stream right now. I'm actually gonna take you guys on the uh, on the tram. Right now we're at about let's see, maybe 15% here on the uh, on the battery. So we're gonna head back over towards the tram, and I'm gonna. Oh, I know. I'm sorry, guys. For anybody that's you know international, I'm very very sorry, but unfortunately. It's going to be here for the uh, U.S. area. And I know to all my amazing subscribers in Australia and other places outside of the U.S., I, I have to look into it. I have to look into like how much shipping would be and all that stuff. I just don't know the logistics and, and, and all that stuff, how to actually make that happen. I don't know how to do it. So I got to look into it sometime. Maybe Puddles can help me out with that. but. And it's gonna be fun guys i'm excited for the giveaways to come back they were always so much fun when i used to do them very often back in the day and i'm gonna try to do at least once a week get a nice giveaway going for you guys once a week and i have some uh really cool things that i have i have some ideas on so we'll kind of you know start off with this one and then i'll you guys will get the hang of it for any of you guys that have uh done any of my giveaways in the past this should seem very familiar for you guys so check that out tomorrow the video will be up for you guys to enter tomorrow it's gonna be a short video like a one minute video two minute video explaining everything and then the, i will reveal the winner on sunday in a live stream it'll be a sunday evening live stream This Grand Californian Hotel. <laughs> is that what that means? But it was uh, G Grand Californian Hotel. What did you guys think about the live stream today? Did you guys like it? I hope you guys liked it. Got to do some really cool rides and started off the stream in a cool way, I think. It's really cool because you guys will see right at the beginning of the stream, you guys will see the, uh, the train arrive. That's how the stream started, guys. I'm not even kidding. Perfect timing. different exit here to the tram but I think you guys will like it puddles this one's for you Grand California Hotel because it's in your head tonight I see puddles so let me give you a little view here look Grand California will have a big debut April 5th too yeah but we'll see Storyteller's Cafe. Let me show you guys how cool the pool looks here. Just real quick, just real quick. It looks really nice right now.
Thank you so much, Kate, for helping me out tonight here on the live. I appreciate you as always. And uh, yeah, hopefully you can join in here tomorrow for another stream. This is Storyteller's Cafe, guys. This is a really nice buffet. Puddles. It's heated too. How do you know? So cool guys if we could go into the pool right now that would be amazing I love the pool you know I love it if it starts lagging refresh because I'm gonna have to switch the internet it shouldn't lag but if it does if it does lag it smells so good in here Oh, so nice in here, guys. Uh, the stream should start tomorrow, 5.30 p.m. California time. Have your notifications. I'll keep you... Uh... Oh, this is nice. I like this kind of stuff right here. Like this... This wood. I like this kind of stuff. This is really nice. See that? I like that. There's a really nice fireplace right here with some really nice chairs. This is the life, guys. Do your chair. The only thing that's missing is a nice little thing right here to put your feet. Maybe, maybe something like that. You know, put your feet up like that. But the problem with that is people probably wouldn't even want to leave. Because your feet are, you know, up. You're right here with the little chair rocking back and forth. Got the fireplace going. This is really nice, guys. You guys need to come check this out. Yeah. There's a little view right there. very comfy they rock back and forth like this and if you want to do some more you know just kind of couch chilling you know they have some couches it's very very nice I like this place a lot Yeah, throughout the day, Kilroy, they have the, uh, I need to come here throughout the day to show you guys. But, you know, they have the, uh, they have the piano, that, you know, playing some songs and stuff like that. My mom likes coming here, too. Hey! How's everything looking, guys? 
Right now we're about to go through security, so I'm gonna have to, uh, the screen's gonna go dark for a little bit. They have a conference center here too. Listen, listen, listen. Really nice. Okay, this is the part where the screen's gonna go dark. 30 seconds, okay? I'll be right back. 30 seconds, guys. The screen's gonna go dark, you won't be able to hear anything. But if you just wait a little bit, don't, I don't even think you have to refresh. But I'll be right back. Cool. Seemed like a lot of you guys liked it yesterday, so I didn't start to stream on the tram, but we could definitely finish up on the tram. And you can see right here at this second loading zone, a lot of space here where we can get a good spot. <laughs> For all of you guys who are still in here watching, 
hope you guys are enjoying this part of the stream. This is gonna be, we will back to the uh, to the parking structure. Look, here goes one, one tram. Here comes ours right here. didn't get on the monorail today. Maybe we can get on it tomorrow. That's a great idea, Haley. I'll definitely keep that in mind for tomorrow's stream. Thank you for being in here, by the way. Appreciate the support. And Ivy54, thank you for the super chat for, uh, right before Soren. Hope you enjoyed the ride. This job is now getting ready to depart. Please remain seated with the doors closed. Drivers, you are clear. For your safety, remain seated with the doors closed. Keeping your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside while the traffic
position. Spare safety, please remain seated when the doors close until the turn up comes before and complete the stop. Jack, change towards the driver's right side at the driver's right side only. Towards the parking structure. Jack, change towards the driver's right side at the driver's right side only. Towards the parking structure. Sure to gather all your items. Slow your head and watch your step. Alright guys, I hope all of you enjoyed today's live stream. Make sure to join me tomorrow for another one. Keep an eye out on the post notifications. You do not want to miss the giveaway video tomorrow so you guys can enter that. The winner will be revealed on Sunday. Make sure to hit the like button here on this live stream. The biggest thank you to my moderators for helping me out here in the chat. Everybody in here that's been watching since the beginning or if you're just joining in check out the replay thank you so much for joining and watching my live streams you guys are awesome have a good uh, very very good night get some rest we'll see each other here again tomorrow guys thank you so much everybody <laughs>